Yo! Oh! What's good, everybody? In case y'all ain't know, my name is Cash, and I got pay bills. So it's time to make this cash. We got times athletes were caught cheating. Ironically, y'all, I got a game in like two hours. I'm going against Cam. So um, I might use some of these uh, techniques. <laughs> these Shout out to Rebound. Times athletes. Bro, that's real? These. But well, there's nobody that felt that in a soccer ball. What? Times athletes were caught cheating. He was going to pay off the officials. <laughs> oh, boy. He's been thrown out of the game. Someone is pointing a laser at LeBron. Now, watch how this NBA player uses his shoot to cheat. Sort of going right at belly. Are, are you allowed to block a shot with a shoe? No. Yeah, this guy tried to block a shot hey. with a shoe. That's at least he hustled right there. You know what I mean? He didn't try and knock himself out. At, at least like he didn't give up on a play. play. This man just grabbed his opponent's arm and slapped himself. What a demon. Boy, football is full of demons. Oh, so he flopped this it. man right here tried playing dead to avoid a red card. Damn. Acting that bad should be illegal. Somebody arrest this man. <laughs> and while we're at it, arrest this marathon runner. Because he knocked over all the water at a drink station. Hey, what's wrong with that? <laughs> no water at a marathon. <laughs> what's I wrong with that? Somebody. Hey! And so is the hey, hey, I don't see race. nothing. No, 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 no. I don't see nothing wrong with this right here, man. A marathon. All right. Man, everybody behind me is my ops. If I can have that little bit of just inch of winning my chances... What's wrong with this? this? Bro, Kobe used to literally read the NBA rule book to find ways to finesse in the game of basketball. Come on, bro. Uh, hey. I, he's going to kill somebody. And so is nah, he ain't killing nobody. Just quit. Okay, okay. Yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, bro. Th this is wrong. He just pulled that guy's brakes at 135 miles per hour. This got to be attempted murder. Facts. But it turns out. Athletes are reckless all the time because an MLB player was caught cheating in the most obvious way possible. See, in a 2014 game, Yankee starting pitcher Michael Pineda rubbed his neck with pine tar, an illegal substance that helps players grip the baseball and is strictly banned in the MLB. And for viewers on TV, it was painfully obvious that this dude was cheating because the stuff was reflecting off of his neck like the damn sun. And well, it didn't take too He must thought cause he was so dark it looked like, you know, sweat or something. Boy, look, man, that thing look like oil on your neck, boy. Come on, man. To get caught. Bro, you against the Red Sox, he had what looked like pine tar on his head. Later said it was dirt. But Farrell was going out to check. And then you cap to the side like a game, but <laughs> You're out! Get him out of here, y'all! Come on, on, bro. Bro, they to make it more obvious, dog. Bro, you got your cap to the side, yeah, and you walk in a gas station. Yeah. I'm going to look at you, bro. Oh, bro, if, if I'm working at a gas station, and you come with your cap to the side like this right here. Listen, I know you got bread and everything, man, but I'm paranoid. I, this right here my business establishment. Bro, you just you just, you just just fit the profile with the cap to the side. I I, I got to see what you're going to do when you pass the candy out. You know, I just... I... Caught in the act. Things got even stickier for him. <laughs> Guns, this little cheating stunt got him suspended by the MLP <laughs> for 10 games. Why'd you choose to put it there? Nah, 10 games. It's pretty easy to see. You know, like, I want to feel good the ball and make a good pitch, you know? But, but you know it's Bro, we going to cheat, bro. Do it correctly, bro. Man, this guy got his hands you dirty. Know? And so did this basketball team, because they had the most disgusting cheating scandal in sports history. Back in 2000, Somebody countries around the world flew to Australia for the Paralympics, an event where thousands of physically and mentally disabled athletes compete for the gold. And there was one squad that really came to play, the Spanish basketball team, because they destroyed everyone, dominating their way to the finals, where they took home first place. And as they accepted their medals, people thought they had just witnessed something beautiful. But instead, the story got ugly because one of the players on Team Spain made a shocking confession, admitting that his team cheated the Paralympics by having 10 of their 12 players fake a disability. It's quite funny that 
Yeah, but bro. It's so blatantly that only two of the team were, were genuine. I mean, normally you might put in a ringer, but to put 10 ringers in a team of 12 just took it to a different level, really. They could only be. What found. type of. More. Bro, unmoral, destructive. Mindset you had to ha bro, you are disgusting. Come on, bro. Let them people do their thing, man. Bro. I'm down. Yeah, these guys took cheating way too far. Way but too serious. The end, it all came back around. Cause just a couple of days later, Spain was officially stripped. Of their gold medal. Man, I hope your wife Jesus, cheat man. on you, bro. Come you on, bro. What are you, but bro? It, really? It comes to cheating. How can go sleep at night? Can't help themselves. Like NBA star J.R. Smith is a serial cheater. Cause uh, this dude has a history of untying people's shoes. Yeah, he did it to Dwight Howard, Sean Marion. Hell, he even untied Greg Monroe's shoes and was fined 50 grand for it. But uh, I think J.R. likes cheating. Because in 2014, he even admitted to untying players' shoes <laughs> every game. Damn, JR. You're not just cheating. You're tripping. And so <laughs> I like that, that rebound. I'm talking about the worst cheater in the NBA. See, in 2001, Baron Davis hit up the NBA dunk what contest they like with one goal Game in board mind. graphics. Hit a dunk so Sheesh. crazy that he'd take home first place. And with that, Baron took the center court and unveiled his plan to the world. Now I'm gonna pull out my secret weapon. I'm going to the secret weapon. My bag of tricks, and I got a surprise for, the, for my last dunk. I bet you, I bet you'd be surprised. Watch. Well, give us a hint. <laughs> Uh, it's called the blind man's bluff. This guy was gonna dunk, wearing a blindfold. But when he put it on, it became clear that this man was cheating, cause Baron cut holes for both of his eyes. And what happened next is just shameful. Cheated and still missed the dunk. That's embarrassing. Hey, that boy got up there, though. our next athletes might be geniuses. Because what they did to cheat won them hundreds of thousands of dollars. See, this is Jacob Runyon and Chase Kaminsky, two competitive fishermen who were making waves in Ohio. They put them, they put over weights in the, in the bass, man. Dollars People take that sport serious, y'all. And in 2022, these guys Real. entered the Lake Erie Walleye Trail Tournament where they blew the competition out of the water, taking home first place by catching 33 pounds of fish. That was twice as much as second place. And with that big a catch, the judge thought something fishy might be going on. So he decided to cut up their fish and discovered this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. you know me, I would have been like, hey, 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 hey. We gotta throw the fish back, right? Ain't that, ain't that part of the whole thing? We catch them just for sports and we give them back to Mother Nature so they go back and breathe, you know, for the next uh, season? That's what I would have said, you know, before they started cutting in it, man. There we go! Yeah, them boys ready to fight! Yeah! Ready to fight! Yeah! Boy, they're about to get stomped out there, man! Boy, for them bass, they about to stomp your ass! Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I would have went home. I would have went home right there, bro. Like, over a lot of people, man. They've been doing this for years. Cheating mother. Man, he's the my back in the day. These guys were caught red-handed, and people were floundering with hate. Wanted to fillet these guys up. So the very next day, these guys got clowned for cheating all over social media. And while they thought they could swim away with it, in the end, they weren't let off the hook. Cause not only were they disqualified from the tournament, but they were also arrested and charged with yeah. two felonies. So as of today, oh, they're officially facing up to 12 months in prison. Damn. For putting wasting fish! Now you about to go to prison. Where they about to put some weights in you. So you start about putting weights in bass. They about to sit in prison 
And then they're about to put some weight in your eye. You two don't demonetize. They weren't genius. Y'all follow my drip, right? And neither were the New Orleans hey, look, real Saints, because they got caught putting bounties on other players' heads. Boy, going to prison See, for that. That's in crazy, 2009, man. The Saints were playing the Two Minnesota bounties. Vikings, and this game was brutal, almost too brutal. Cause by the end of the night, Vikings players were getting tackled wow. so hard Dang. they filed an official complaint to the NFL, accusing the Saints of purposely trying to injure them. So in the off season. League launched an investigation into New Orleans to see if anything illegal was happening, and that's when they discovered something disturbing. Today, our partners at Yahoo Sports uncovered a recording, and on it, a New Orleans coach graphically telling players to inflict injuries in a big playoff game. Kill the head, the body. We got everything in the world to make sure we kill Frank Gore's head. We want him running sideways. We want his head sideways. Yeah, the NFL discovered that the... First of all, who recorded this? I thought we were, I thought, thought this was Brotherhood. Who the hell snitched? That'd be my first day. Saints were putting bounties on other people's heads, giving players a That's financial wrong, bonus I mean, for tearing ACLs, hitting guys with existing injuries, even yeah. paying them I mean, just, uh, to try to permanently I played the football Vikings before y'all, so. But in the end, the kinda, Saints got hit the hardest. You know, I had, I had my coach tell me a couple things, you know, I was on the kickoff team, you know, games. he told me to. And two of their crack coaches back. Yeah, were is. for the entire you know, like, next season. Bam! Somebody from the That's side. brutal. But not as brutal as what you know, happened to Tiger Woods. Oh boy, I, I, I like spy up bro. I got lit up before too though. Family. See, in the he early two thousand, lived by the sword. Died by the sword. Tiger was living the life. He was making millions of dollars and becoming a golfing superstar. But throughout it all, there was one thing Tiger loved the most: his family. Because with his wife Ellen and his two children, Tiger built a reputation for being a family man. Deep down, Tiger had a dark secret. It got exposed to the world in 2009 when the National Enquirer broke the news that Tiger was cheating on his wife. Disgraced golfer Tiger Woods has held his first interview about the ongoing sex scandal that has shattered his image since the story broke late last year. Woods has previously held a news conference admitting and apologizing for cheating on his wife, Elon. And over the following weeks, Tiger's story got even messier because it turns out that it wasn't just some one night stand. Tiger had been cheating with over 120 women, and uh, they had receipts. Oh, man, look at that picture right here. That down back. <laughs> hey, it's, uh, it's Tiger. I need you to do me a huge favor. Um, can you please uh, take your name off your phone? My wife went through my phone and uh, may be calling you. So if you can, please take your name off that. Yeah. Tiger, you got too much money. Too much money, bro. These girls shall already know who you are, what you about, and what you got to lose. I'm not sitting here promoting this, but I mean, bro, you're a tiger. What you big you big tiger, bro. You not know bro, you are the man. Must have had no uncle in your life. Tiger was caught with his pants down because this cheating scandal ended his marriage, forced him to take a break from golf, Dang, and stained bro. his reputation forever. Dang, I want to say to each of you, simply and directly, I am deeply sorry for my irresponsible and selfish behavior I engaged in. <sighs> it's now up to me to make amends, and that starts by never repeating the mistakes I've made. It's up to me to start living a life of integrity. Damn, my man was thinking with the wrong head. You can tell he's ashamed, <laughs> but who's <laughs> not ashamed are NFL players. Because yeah. they were caught cheating on live TV hundreds. and didn't give a damn. See, back in 1998, the Broncos were that's taking why, on like, the like, Chiefs like, in the It's off the script, man. That's why, like, you know, like, I'm not I'm not even married, though. You know, I got, I got my own situations in life. But, uh, man... You gotta find somebody who 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 knows you, bro. Who understands you. You know that, you know you're not perfect. You know, um, and accept you for your your flaws, man. You know, cause 
I, that's me for marriage is, bro. You know, somebody who really understands you, you know, and know going to be ups and downs and, and can always come back and have a, you know, a, a line of communication of issues and things like that. Because, you know, look, man, that listen, at a divorce, 50% of my earnings, my earnings, my earnings. Yeah. Left by Jerry Markwright to be wiped off. He had some type of a sticky substance on him. Now he's checking back into the game. They're checking him out, and the referee will now allow him to stay. But they're wiping some of the substance off a number of the Denver Broncos, and now Gary Zimmerman yeah. is being uh, uh, attended to. Right the there, man. there must be something uh, on their shoulders. Yeah, these guys were lubing themselves up during a game, but ultimately they couldn't slip past trouble. Because after the game, the refs concluded that Denver had cheated by rubbing Vaseline on their jerseys, finding them each $5,000. And you think after jersey, being cut, bro. Denver would have at least apologized. Jersey, but instead, no. these guys were proud of cheating. Oh, the Broncos sure. guard Mark <laughs> Schlereth saying, Did I grease up my jersey and use sticky substances on my gloves? You're damn right. What we did in the <laughs> locker room is called being creative. Hey. Well, hey, man, I guess that's one way to look at it. But look. As crazy as these stories have been, you got one more hey, that tops them it, all. Cause what Tom Brady was caught doing sparked the most controversial cheating scandal no one cares, in sports Bobby. history. It, it was the 2015 NFL playoffs, Colts versus Patriots. And early in the second quarter, Tom Brady threw a pass that got intercepted by the Colts. Now in the moment, it seemed like this was just an ordinary play, but immediately after the whistle, the Colts noticed that the football felt deflated, so they took the ball to the sideline and told the refs. And what happened next shocked everyone, because this moment turned into a worldwide controversy, with everyone wondering, did the Patriots just get caught cheating? It's the latest NFL scandal, and it's dominating the airwaves. Deflate gate. Deflate gate. Deflate gate. From the morning shows to talk radio, instead of talking about the Super Bowl, all eyes are on the ball, this ball. New England sucked the air right out of the world. Because that night, refs discovered that 11 of their 12 game balls had been deflated, which is completely against the rules. So over the next few days, fans started calling them cheaters, even accusing Tom Brady of orchestrating the whole thing. When and how do you supposedly alter the balls? Uh, you know, I didn't alter the ball in any way. I have a process that I go through uh, before every game where I go in and I pick the footballs that I want to use for the game. Our equipment guys do a great job of breaking the balls in when I pick those. Bow, you got it right there. He snitched, but he didn't snitch. Feel come from? Hey, look, I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm put y'all in uh, my people terms. Hey, look here, man, you feel me? You me? I didn't touch the football, you know? Man, I came in, I clocked in, did my thing, you hear me? And so the 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 you know the tall boys you know the guys who bring the footballs. All I did was I went to go fill the footballs, man. I, now I don't know what they did before the footballs came to me. You hear me? But when they came to me, this the ones I just filled it and I liked it. You know, like I said, man. I, I I don't know I don't know how the balls get. We say deflated, whatever it is. It just felt good to me, man. So you know y'all go ask some boys over there, man. And basically what he's saying to y'all right now. He didn't do it. The ball's out at that point. You know, to me, they're perfect. I don't want anyone touching the balls after that. I don't want anyone rubbing them, uh, you know, putting any air in them, taking the air out. To me, those balls are perfect, and that's what I expect when I show up on the field. And with people desperate for answers, the league launched an investigation into the flake gate, hoping to clear the air. But what they uncovered made things way worse. In May of 2015, the NFL released a series of text messages between Tom Brady and a couple of Patriots employees. And uh, these guys were being sus, talking about air pumps, needles, blowing up balls like balloons. Hell, oh, one of them even called himself the deflator. Yeah, they were definitely deflating balls. And the NFL agreed, because they brought the hammer down on the pads, finding them a million dollars taking away two first round draft picks and suspending Tom Brady for four games. Should have just left his balls alone, man. Well, and believe it or not, we've seen crazier stuff happen in the NFL, from a stadium catching on fire to fans streaking the field. They got- Hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. We are out of here. Wow.